this video will demonstrate some of the features of utilizing WebEx. So first you sign in with your username and password. On the left hand side of the screen you have a home icon, a meetings icon, recordings, preferences, insights, support, downloads and feedback. Within the meetings, uh, icon on the left hand side you can schedule any meetings. You can see what meetings are set up within the schedule and what meetings have taken what meetings are going to take place. You have a recordings option and these are all vi videos or video conferences that have been recorded or have been completed and if you recorded it and cl clicked on that feature they'll be saved here. And your preferences it's good to look over them prior to beginning any meeting and just ensuring that you're in the correct time zone. prior to starting any of your meetings that your language is set in the correct language, your region. You can connect to your Google account, your Microsoft Office 365, or your Facebook account. Then on my personal room, you can alter the name of your room. And there's a host pin. This is a room link. You can automatically lock your room after about 10 minutes so no one arrives late. And you can turn on or off your notifications when somebody enters your lobby. You can also um, click on the audio and video tab up on the top of the screen. Ensure that you're, you can have an entry and exit tone, a beep, or announce the name. You can have a default call-in number. And you can set up your video systems. I'm just going to set up my PIN as 4244. Scheduling, you can send a copy of the email invitation to yourself that you would share with participants and you can automatically share the recording when it's available after the meeting to any participants and you can set your recording preferences as well okay so now going to clicking on the meetings icon on the left hand side of the screen I have one scheduled for Thursday, April 9th at 4.35 p.m. and I've titled it Physical Education Overview. Once I've done that, I click on Start. And at the beginning, uh, if you're utilizing a Windows computer, you'll uh, have to download an .exe file. You have to download the software to be able to start your meeting. but some of the options are very similar to school G to Zoom to Microsoft 365 Teams. So what you'll do is the icons on their bottom you can mute, turn off or on your mic, you can turn your camera on or off. You can share your screen, you can share a tab, you can share a PowerPoint, a video. Or you can record the meeting as well. Okay. There's also a part, uh, an option to open the chat bar, so you can chat. You can collapse it as well. And I'm currently muted, so. You can lock the meeting. You can develop some notes, and you can copy your meeting link under the options menu. Okay. So just a brief overview, there's also a whiteboard feature for WebEx meetings and there's options available up on the top. 
and on the meeting you can click on start recording just as the options available down at the bottom and it'll bring up a it'll populate a computer or an area within your computer that you'd like to save your particular video file after the meeting has ended Okay, this is just a brief overview of utilizing WebEx as a video conferencing tool.